Hey guys, I was just going to show you how um, we are able to turn our soap on and off by remote. Um, all the products we got to do this, we got off um, Amazon and electricvalvesilanoid.com. Um, I got less than $100 into a remote control that I will be able to turn the soap on and off and not have to walk all the way back up to the hose reels. Um, I'll walk you through when I where you hook the wires up and how to hook set this up and it uh, Works pretty awesome um, Can't wait to get it on the truck to see how it's actually gonna do so here. We got our box remount mounted here We actually have three switches ones our roof pump. This is our window clean But this is for our remote. We can turn it on and off right here And I'm gonna back up here And I'm gonna push the a and you can see the light on the front of the truck is on and that lets us know that the soap is on. Turn it back off. Same way with wax. The back is wax, the front is soap. And you can turn them both on at the same time. But uh, you can see we're getting about 100 feet away from the truck to be able to turn our light on and off. So right here we have um, two electric solenoids. They're made out of stainless steel with Viking seals so that they can hold the soap. Um, you can get these from electricsilenoidvalve.com. They're $29 a piece. Next over here, we have a four channel remote control. I only need two channels, but the four channel this year on amazon.com was right at about uh, $25 and that's shipping and everything um, we can do four channels I'm only going to be using two I may end up using three but we'll see and then right here we have the box I'm going to stick everything in to keep it all waterproof got it at Menards for $10 um, I did get these from tractor supply the quarter inch by a quarter inch tubing we got those from Tractor Supply. So everything here, I got this from um, Amazon. I'll put a link down below for that. Got these from electricsilenoidsvalves.com. I'll put a link down for that. And then I got this at Menards. All right, so this is our uh, four channel um, remote control. It's gonna control the soap and I'm actually going to use going to use two of these channels. One's going to um, the first one will be the soap, and the second one is the house wash. Um, and to wire this up, I got this off Amazon. We have a hot or a positive wire that goes in here. We have a hot a negative that goes to the negative. It actually says it on there. The hot actually, if you see here, I'll move it back. It actually splits. And on this board, you can see there's A, B, and C. So B is your line. So it's actually a positive that comes from that positive wire. And this is what feeds um, the solenoids. And then A is normally closed, so that's the one we put it in. And A is going up to our solenoid valves up in here. Um, and then C obviously don't get nothing because we don't care if that's only open, so we don't need nothing in there. Um, but the way this will work is um, I'm going to stick it all in the box. I drilled the holes in, in the bottom of the box here. Um, I And I was hoping it was a little bit tighter than what it is. It's not. I couldn't do underneath the solenoid valve, so I'm going to try to hopefully make this work. I'm going to Velcro this into the box so that way if I need to get it out, I can get it back out. Um, but this will allow me to do soap and um, wax. These are stainless steel bodies with Viaton um, um, seals in them. So they should allow it to not get corrosive in there. But all it will take is, is I got two wires here for my hot ground that will feed that. And then over here, I got two loose wires, and what these will go to is two lights up on top of my tank, and that way, when when it um, gets power to it, one will be um, soap, and it'll turn on a soap light on top of the tank, and then the other one 
will be the wax, which will be up on top of the tank also. Alright, so I got this hooked up to a 9 volt battery so we can see how this will work. So you can see the lights on. Um, you hit the A button. You can hear that solenoid click in. Hit the A button again, it turns it off. Same with the B, and, and it turns it off. Now, when you're setting these up, I don't know if I'll be able to get it in here, but there's a little, a little bridge guy right here. Um, and you have to move this from one side to the other. If you put it on the, um, the other pin, it actually will only um, turn on and turn right back off without, the, without hitting the switch. But this one here, you can hit the A button, makes it turn on, turn off, B, turn on, turn off, C, you can hear, but there is no relay to it. Because this is a four channel, but we are only using the top two channels. Um, but this is how we will be able to turn the soap on and off. Um, well, I hope you can use this, um, or if you would like for me to need any help trying to set this up, just you can message me, send me a comment down below, and I will, uh, I will definitely answer you back. Um, you can also go and uh, take and subscribe to my channel and like my video. Have an awesome day, and hopefully. You can be pressure washing and not have to walk back and forth to the truck. See ya.